Okay, so it's been a little bit since we were in the garage and we did a tune. Not a long time. But for us, it's been, we were doing them like yeah. uh, one a week, but we got, you know, things happen. So last, uh, last zero to 60 was insane. Uh, I'll pop up right here. In case you didn't, ah, yeah. in case you didn't see it, here's a little, uh, here's what the car looks like launching. Where's it going to be posted? Right here? Yeah, right here. Anyway, it was crazy. I was shocked. Were you shocked? I was shocked. I rode in it and I got to feel. We're not going to tell you the number. The you have to go watch the video. Watch the but video. it was uh, it was a really good number. Because we're still running on the four RWY with a uh, on a 93, 95 octane. Ninety five. So this with launch control. Last. Yep. So we're running on ninety five. We weren't expecting what we got. Hopeful. Yep. But we're getting ready to bump it up some more. And, and we're not. And we're just getting started for the on the good stuff. The dragon. <laughs> it's not a dragon, it's just a regular old 17. That's a lie. Don't it's ever say lie. that about it. Don't it's listen to him. It was dino. I'm blocking his ears. Average car. So all the work we do is just that. That's guy. true. It is an average car. This can all this can come to you too. Alright. Let's do this thing. What's going on? Right now we're about to put on another tune. Yep. We're gonna do the stage four RWI X one hundred. X one hundred. We're gonna take it up a notch. I don't. I. I. We've been doing so much of this. I can't quote the the, the horsepower numbers, but I'll throw them up on the screen. Oh, we, yeah, we can't quote the horsepower numbers, but the horsepower is awesome. I mean, great. But we don't have a dyno here, so we can't verify. What we can verify is going to be the way it feels, and um, mm -hmm. the way it launches. We can verify with video our draggy numbers, the zero to sixties, and that's why we're doing this. So. Yep. Uh, draggies have been great. Uh, we're getting ready to, well, when we run this, though, there definitely will be some draggy comparison over the last three, two to three uh, um, tunes because this is when it's getting serious. Uh, uh, I got we, a whiteboard. Yeah, we dropped into a new level. Let's dropped. just say that. We'll just say we dropped into a new level last video. Go check it out. I can tell you, but I can tell you for sure this next video, deeper into that next level. So deep. And yeah. let me tell you, we're not drag racers. We're not going to go race the Can-Am. No, not at we're all. Ultimately, the, we're dooners. But yeah, uh, we have people, oh, you guys think you're so fast, and oh, the your drags. and We're not doing it for that. We're, we're racing ourselves. We're just comparing ourself. tune by tune by tune, the Evo tunes. We were curious about them. And they're badass. Oh, yeah, and, they um, rock. They definitely, they definitely. I had someone ask me the other day. I thought it was a silly question. Then I thought about it for a little bit, and I understood. You know, when I looked at it from a different perspective. But this person sat right here in the garage and said to me, you know those tunes, you know, everybody's doing? Because do they really make a difference? And I was shocked. And the only thing I can say is go look at our playlist because this car ran a 5.33. Five. That was with clutching. So I'm going to say it would probably would have ran a 5, mid 5.5. Five, five. Let's say a 5.5. Five. Five. We're clear into the, well, I'm just going to have to say it. B, are you? Because it, it's already up by now, right? Pretty damn near three. Okay, in the threes. In the threes. But yeah. just go back and watch the video. But let me tell you something. You're right. That's, um, a, that's huge. In the zero to 60, if you uh, if you do a little bit of research, you'll find that's that's a big, big number. And I, I mean, mean honestly, that's what this whole video series, that's what the playlist that will be linked below is about. It's about showing you what your gains could be. People always ask, like, you know, how much horsepower gain do you have mm -hmm. if you, uh, you know, you do the wastegate, uh, you change your, you, I mean, every step of yeah. the way people are and, asking questions. And who cares what the horsepower number is because you could say, you could put any number you want on it. If you don't feel it when you drive the car, it doesn't matter. What does it feel like? Can I tell? It What's feels it? like this. Watch right here. And this is me in the video. Ah! Yep. You probably that's, see that. I mean, right there, that's right there. there. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just going to say when you can, uh, you can do uh, wheelies on launch beep, every time, bop, bop, just like yep. nothing. I don't know. Yep. I mean, that's kind of one of those things that's just the bad A word. It just looks really freaking cool. It feels good. And you can actually feel and see uh, every step of the way with every single tune that you do. You can actually feel the difference. And that's what this is about. Oh, yeah. so. And the draggy. I mean, the draggy, the draggy is, is an amazing. invaluable tool because it's definitely telling the story in this story that we're telling. So eventually, I think we'll, at the end of this, we'll put like the whole thing together and uh, so you can see the whole progression. But the playlist is going to be linked up below. 
check it out where we're at so far. We're moving from a stage 4 RWI on 95 octane with launch control. And we're going to go up to the 4 RWI X100, 100 octane. Yep. So, so what we got to do right now is throw the tune in. We'll show you on the screen what that means, what's involved. And then we will mix up the fuel, put it in, and then as soon as we can, we're going to get out there and run a 0 to 60. Hopefully always, that's like within the next three or four days. Yeah, we always run three of them. For you, I can't tell you when that video will be up after this one, but it will be in a week or so. Yeah. So anyway, check it out. Here check we it go. out. Let's do it. Okay, what are we doing? We are, uh, we're going to... We're gonna do what we said. We're gonna tune this thing. Let's take a look and see what we got. Let's tune this. Can you see that screen pretty good? Yeah, I Let's can show see them. it. Let's show them what we got. So, um, it says select one of the files in the list and press next, and the map specifications are then displayed, which tells you basically where you need to be and what you need to have. We're going to a 4RWI. So, this is the one we just did. What was a multi mode 91, 95? We're on 95 octane. Let's see what the requirements were. It was launch control enabled. Got it. 2300 launch RPM. We need to have the OEM 18 or 19 Turbo R fuel pump, check. Uh, Evo launch switch, got it. Race bypass exhaust, we got the exhaust. Um, 95 octane RM2 fuel, mix 91 and 110, done. We need to have race gas, 70, okay, go on. 95 octane, yeah, we got that. Uh, yeah, yeah, race gas. Uh, Evo big injectors, yes. Uh, 18 OEM fuel pump bigger. EVP wastegate actuator set at 9 PSI crack pressure, yes. We did that. No octane booster, we don't. Uh, recommended would be clutch shift out RPM at 8,000. 30 amp fuse installation and done. And we did do clutch work. We have Evo clutch. We did Evo clutch. We did the spring and stuff. We got everything. We got the intercooler fan, the 30 amp fuse, and rev limit 9,000 RPM. So. All right, let's go. Let's see what the next one is. Okay. So we're finally making that jump. We don't need to do the new. We don't need to do the four RWI ninety five because we already did it. So we got the switch right here. Right there. Right. Boop, that's the go button. All right, and so we're gonna bump on right past. We kind of skipped over ninety three. I feel bad, but I don't think. I don't we're feel that do bad. Right. I feel like I feel like one. So get here we go. It. The big. The, we're on the last one until we do. Launch the control twenty three hundred, which is you right, know your RP, launch RPM, launch control enabled. Um, yeah. 100 octane. Let's go through this. What do we got? Okay, let's see. What are your requirements? Launch control enabled, 2300 launch RPM. Required components, here we are. We got to have the turbo R fuel pump done. Launch switch, yeah. The exhaust, yes. We got full exhaust. We need to throw our launch switch in there. I've been, uh, anyway, yeah. Okay, oh yeah, okay. We got, uh, we're going to mix up the 100 octane, right? Yep, 100, okay. I don't know, uh, 100 octane RM or higher of course okay right. it says 100 ll is okay we're gonna google that right. evo big injectors yes we need the fuel pump okay we need wastegate actuator oh we gotta bump that up to 11 from nine yeah crack uh crack pressure we yes. need to set it to 11 does it go to 11 <laughs> <Yes. laughs> we're it's, gonna hashtag 11 that. is one louder and we're gonna be like hashtag it goes to 11. it goes to 11. That's our, that's this theme. Okay. No octane booster, no, we're not doing that. Mm -hmm. Recommended, yeah, 8,000 RPM clutch shift out. We got clutching oh, done. That's drop, that's a drop from the other one. Is it? Anyway. Eight. Okay, 30 amp fuse install, we did it because the fan needs to click on Even faster. says the location. Rev limit 9,000 RPMs. Uh, revised intercooler. Oh, I'm sorry, that was shift out. Sorry. Okay, that's why I got confused. Excuse okay. Me. Revised intercooler fan function. We're there. Let's do this. Ready? I am ready. Okay, download it, buddy. Hit it. Yes. Do you want to do it? Prepare for pro. Prepare for programming. It speaks in British because it's real. Is Map Tuner X connected to a correct vehicle? Error code two seventeen. What was it on last? I forgot to turn. Oh, it wasn't on. You had to turn the on switch on. Yeah. Oopsie. That's okay. That's what happens. There See, we go. this is how you do it, people. Downloading. It says next, but what? There we go. Okay. Oh, because you messed I, it all up. Yeah, I messed it up. Let's fix it right now. This can happen. These uh, things happen. We'll make sure we're on the right car. We are on the right car. Oh, yeah. Uh, my vehicles. We're on the. Look at all those Trip cars. Trip the Ripper. Trip the Rip. Okay. All right. Programming. This thing is so cool. Yeah, Somebody asked me today, how do you tune this? Like, what do you do? And I'm like trying to explain it. And it just, it, I think it was mind boggling to them. Like, what? Do you, you have to take it all the way. They said you have to take it all the way. So, anyways. Here we go. Prepare for programming. Make sure the key is in position. The ignition switch is on. <laughs> it even tells you, babe. I know. And I know already, but, you know. 
you know, we're too excited. That's right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is come back. Yeah. Oh, wait. Um, we're wait. gonna let this do its thing. It's calculating the check sound. <clears throat> we're gonna let this do its thing and then we're gonna... Mix up the gas? Mix up the gas, adjust the wastegate actuator, and yeah, we'll bring you in on that. But right now we're gonna turn the AC back on because it's, uh, you know, it's what, uh, uh, right. mid-August and it's still 375 degrees at night. That's cal uh, Celsius yeah. calculus. Not close. <laughs> All right, we'll All be right. back. Peace out, we'll be back. Okay, where are we at? What are we doing? So what we're doing is we're going to pull all the fuel out of here because it's got 95 in it. And we need to be at what? And we need to be at 100. Or 100? Above. 100. We're Who did finally thunk doing, it? We're finally doing the 100. Okay, so this little thing is super nifty. I say it every time. Yep. Just jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, I mean, that's that quick. That's Look funny that. because uh, my buddy from Louisiana, mm -hmm. Bubba, yeah. he's got a fast car. Um, he's running. I don't know what it is. It's fast. But anyway, he saw us doing this and, he's, and he sent a message, a message or a comment and said, he's, he was laughing and said, I've never seen anybody's, anybody siphon like that. He didn't realize this has a check ball in the bottom of it, and that's the way it works. Right, so it kind of just like you do this, do, 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 yeah. Yeah, it has a little, it's actually a, well, I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. It's like a marble inside so of a little co copper deal, and it, it actually, that's and how it works. And then gravity does its job, gravity and bada boom, bada boom. Yep. See how much fuel we have in there right now, and then we'll figure out what our mixture needs I'll to check be. check this out. It's completed, our tune completed. I just want to see the screen then. Prove it. It says downloaded complete. We're at the LC, that's launch control, 2300X3, stage 4RWI, well, X100. I'm sorry, I'm blind. Yep. That's why. I'm more blind. And okay. I think that picks up sub near near 22 pounds. We're at 20 pounds now, I want to say, boost. Um, I know it wasn't 22 at the, the 5, at E85. That's a difference. That's a stage five team. That's what I mean. Was not. Oh, so they could be the same. I didn't know. Okay, okay. I'm not 100 percent on that. We'd have to check that. We will. So we're just gonna get this all filled up. Figure out. Oh, you got it. Yep. All Show done. Them a little marble in there all too. Right. So now we have to just do some calculations based on how much fuel we have and what we need. And you said you'd show the marble in the in the thing. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, so for anyone that hasn't seen one of these, kind of cool. I know a couple of people have ordered these because they saw us using them. I think it's awesome. I sent links to a couple of people. I just got gas in my eyeball. Well, it's not, don't do that, people. Rinse it with so, it. Yeah, so there's a little, can you see the ball in there? Um, is it focusing? Hang on. Yep, yeah, oh, whoa, way focused. That is a cool, yep, jiggle, jiggle. So there's a ball in there. Okay. And uh, science. Yeah, and then the rest is all scientific. Okay, so we're going to calculate and then we'll come back to you? Yep. Okay, be back. What is happening now is that we, according to our calculations, which are very scientific, I'm not going to even tell you how we did it, we, um, we got to get rid of a little bit of this 95. We're putting 95 in the razor? Yeah. Okay, we're going to get rid of a little bit of this 95 so that we can add in the 110, use that uh, five gallon fuel can and um, get us a new 100 mixture, yeah? Yeah, what happens is we're not burning very much fuel when you, we're not riding right now, so we're doing zero to 60s and that's it. So we, so we mix up five gallons and then we don't use it all, then we take that five gallons out to mix with our next mixture and yeah. And the cycle continues. Basically, we're not in that, that horsepower robbing sand. Just running on asphalt on dirt tires is kind of, not really, you know. And look at it, we're putting it back in with that same little jiggly thing. Okay, we're mixed up. We're gonna mix it up. Well, we're gonna mix it up. Where do we need to be? We need to be up to get to five. We need five? Yep, that's what we calculated. Which so is where? five is five, you know? Is it the top? Which is where? Okay, flip it around. Uh, go all the way around. Uh, numbers are on the other side. Okay, so this is four. There's five right there. Oh, yeah, right there. So, top, top. <laughs> right, okay, so we're just, let's see, when the motion in the ocean stopped rocking. 
So, so basically we were going to be at three and a third of the 95 and then one and 0.7 or whatever of the 110 to get to the five. So even if we come in a little bit below five because we're not at three and a third or a little out all the way to five, better to be above on the higher. You can't be above on the lower is what we're saying, right? Yeah, so just gonna, don't follow us. We're gonna mix it. <laughs> it's up your own feel. I don't know. <laughs> just don't be wrong. Just don't be wrong. So I'm gonna throw this in there, whatever's left of this, and then we'll use. We have some more 110 over there. Okay, I'm watching you. Okay, so that's put us just above four. So we need one more gallon of that 110, and then we should be good. Uh, or maybe we've used a little more 110. Maybe you're throttle happy. Maybe your lead foot is just. The lead foot mod. Leg foot mod. That was our first mod. Right here. Um, I got to be able to keep up with you if I'm going to um, drive the the RZR Pro out in the dunes. So we're, that's going to be coming soon, right? Coming soon. Oh, I see it coming out. Here we go. Come on and take a look. So three, eight, five, I say three, seven, eight. Not there yet. All right. Um, once this, when are we doing zero to 60s? Hopefully within the next few days. Yep. Okay. Oh my God. We have reservations, guys. Let me just say something real quick. We have reservations for Pismo, right? Our home spot, right? Home base. That is going to be, I booked two reservations, two weekends in a row, we're going both weekends because we have things going on both. I already rsvp to some events, so we got to go. True. Sorry. All right, so I got all OCD the other day because once you cut these kind of clamps off, mm -hmm. they're, they're done. Um, and so we cut the original clamp off and we've been using, uh, I'll show you. And I'm just, I don't know, I've been. It's been bugging you? That's funny, I'm that OCD about a car that's just filthy. But whatever. You know Let me what? grab a screwdriver. Take a look at that clamp. Show them that clamp. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, okay. So here's where we're at, guys. And we're about to change that out and get all nice and fancy. Oh, yeah. That's... And what'd you do? What'd you get? Oh, look at that, guys. <laughs> so we, got, we showed you, I think, we got these clamps. I got OCD. I like those clamps. Whenever Evo sends you... Uh, Parts and kits and stuff, they send it with those kind of clamps. The That's nice the clamps. original kind of clamps and clamp that was on this. Right. And we're gonna put it back after we do this. So we gotta figure out which size it is. Let's see. You probably organized them all by size, did you? Well, they came this way. Right. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought this junk. <laughs> all right, here we go. This is just a, and I think that's gonna be the right size. If not, we'll go next size down. But this is just an inexpensive uh, kit that came, uh, I got from Amazon. Right. Comes with the tool. So we'll put that in there. I think that tool looks fun. I mean. Yeah, we actually already have one, but that's all right. Whatever. Now we have two. I know, I have two. Uh, this might actually be the right size, we'll see. Let's get the, let's get the wastegate part. Um, use the mighty back right there, which is what we're going to use to set the correct crack pressure here. Oh. Um, do you have your phone so you can Google? Oh, it says it in here. Let's look at the programming and verify it from the source. Okay, so here's the components. We need to have 11 PSI right. right there. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? This is always the fun part. This is like when you got to have some good eyes. Okay. Which leaves us both out. We're just freaking, we need to hire someone. Well, at least 11's a little easier to see than... I can't believe it goes to 11. I know. I feel like I saw it move, but I don't know if that's true. It did. Okay. So, I think I gotta turn it in, another turn. I'll try that. Half a turn, let's see what we get. You're just at 10, 11 right there. Did you feel it? Yeah. Okay. Let's say it moved out 11. I will gauge you. If you uh, tell me when you fill it, I'll tell you where you're at. Uh, That's 11. You're moving it. I can see you jiggling it on the screen. 
Okay, so we need to turn it in a little bit. All right. I think we're good. I think we're just inhaling all this fumes of gasoline. I think we're good. Okay, all right. It worked. Crimped it right on there, huh? It did. I and like that. Let me see it. Oh, yeah. Now, here's the only thing we need to remember is we need to order another one of these and have it in the car. Okay. Because if we have to change this pressure on the fly in Pismo ground or something like that, we either need to have a screw clamp on here or... Or we're not going to go back to these screw with clamps. Us. You don't go back to screw clamps once you've had the ear hose clamp. I'm just, let's just be honest. Okay, so now we are at set at 11 PSI for a crack pressure. We got all that adjusted. All the rest of the uh, necessities, the prerequisites, some would say, for the uh, tune that we're about to run, which is the stage four RWI on X100, so 100 octane. We're set, right? We're set. What are you doing in here? All right, we have one last thing. We haven't installed this because we've been kind of just using the override. Holding. Right. But we're gonna throw this guy in because it says uh, launch Evo. You know, we're gonna we're going all the way with this. Yeah, Not screwing around. So here we go. So we're installing our launch control button so yeah. we can become officially legit. I don't feel like you should have launch control until you hit 100 octane. I think it's a badge of honor. <laughs> we already got our uh, our multi -mode multi mode. Uh, where, yeah, where you pop that? Nope. We already used that button. Yep. 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 So moving on. Going moving on up. Launch. Now. We got a, a button that says launch. I'm pretty excited about it, actually. Like, oh, there it is. You know how I feel about buttons. Oh. Launch. Multi-mode button. So multi-mode does what? Tell me again. Multi-mode button switches the tune when you have... So we don't have that tune installed any longer, the multi-mode tune. But when you do have that tune installed, it switches you in between the 91 tune and the 95 tune. Is it 91 and 95 or 93 and 95? 91 and 95. Okay, just making sure. And uh, what it, the button nor is normally your uh, sport. And, oh, eco, uh, eco and sport, okay. So now I'm assuming we're going to run it on um, sport all we're the time. We're like pro sport. No, this is pro. And there's now we've gone up another level. There's so. eco, pro, and then there's evo, pro. So we're going to let this thing warm up for a minute and we're going to pop pop it. Because the neighbors love that. for the pop pop right now we're in a vacuum so if you launch it right now you have to wait for that boost to build up before you get all the powers here's why but we're starting with the powers yep okay and here's why here's how Feel cool? Do you feel cooler? Awesome. I feel like you just stepped up your game a little bit. 100 octane, let's do this. 100 octane, let's do it, and we're going to do it soon. We got let's reservations, Pismo. Yeah. Come ride with us. Yeah, we can't wait to do that. And we're going to be on 32. Right? And we're not going to talk about we're it. Gonna be on Zip. We're going to be on some new tires. But. We won't talk wait, about is it but? <laughs> All right. All right. So what we're going to do is say, yeah. You're out. That's it. Okay, so what we got to do is, you guys, um, we have the playlist linked below. If you want to see what our progress is so far on this uh, Evo journey that we've been on and see what we're 
why we're so excited about it, then check that out. Um, if you're so inclined, we would love for you to join us on Patreon and help support us like our patrons are doing. Thank you, guys. We also have our Facebook group link below, Dandy Off-Road Adventure Seekers, where we can have a little more of a personal relationship with you guys, which is why we do this, so we can hook up and ride together, uh, meet each other, and actually uh, talk to you. So thank you guys who are subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, you should do it now. You're here. Hit the subscribe button. It really does help us out. If you like what we're doing, we do appreciate a thumbs up, and if you hate it, we want to know. So what do they do? Hit the dislike button two times? Two. Two times. Four, and let us, Or four two, times. Four, two or four, six. I mean, it has to be eight. in doubles, and then we'll know for sure how much you hate it, and we'll stop doing it immediately. Um, thank you to all of you guys who have been with us on this journey. We cannot express to you how much we do appreciate it. We're going to be back in the sand soon, and that's when stuff's going to really start getting real. Um, so we hope that you guys will continue to watch and join and let us know what you're thinking. We love talking to you. Leave us a comment. Give us a thumbs up. And uh, I think that's it, right? That's right. That's it. Peace. Peace.